that kid will always make you laugh. His glasses were always crooked. And he was always with me like he was my partner in crime. Luis was like a brother to me. I always loved him. On November 29, 2011, our dear friend and fellow Hidal Middle School student, Luis Lopez Flores, was killed walking home from school. His loss came as a shock to everyone. We were heartbroken, and we didn't know how to respond to such a tragedy. When I found out he died, like, I didn't know what to do. I felt lost. I don't know how to describe it. It was just a nightmare. When he passed away, I was really hurt. The school was silent for a week. Many people were crying. But we wanted to do something that would honor Luis and bring healing to ourselves, to Luis's family, and to our school. He was like one of the nicest guys you could ever find in this school. I'll always remember Luis as someone you could cry to, someone is there for you, someone that could make you laugh when you're having a bad day. We were on the same soccer team. He always helped me out, like if like, I said, like, I'm like, I'm, I can't do it. And like, he's like, nah, you can do it. <laughs> he was always boosting people up. If you felt uncomfortable about doing something, he always, like, helped you to get over your fears. So we began to construct 1,000 paper cranes in memory of Luis. In our teacher's home country of Japan, it is said that to create and give away 1,000 paper cranes brings healing to the receiver. Cranes are a symbol of peace, of goodwill, and of hope. He used to give me his glasses and that like to see because our teacher put us in the back. So I would always ask Luis to borrow his glasses and he would always give them to me. And for every class that I had him in, I'd always pass those classes because I had him to help me out. And he would always help me to see the board. And he made us remember like all the fun stuff we had. He was like the one that laughed the most for like the longest. We started this project with Ojeda's Tap Art Club two days after we heard the tragic news of Luis's passing. We wanted to create something to honor him and to also send our love and goodwill to his family. We spent hours and hours writing messages to Louise on paper and then folding them into cranes. As time passed, many students and teachers at Ojeda, who also wanted to send their good thoughts, folded paper cranes to contribute to the project. We also received cranes from people in the greater community, other TAP teachers, Del Valley Middle School students, people who had never met Luis but wanted to honor him and his family. Luis didn't have an enemy at all. He was never mad at anybody. He was just like that kind of person that everybody wanted to go to, that person that would take a joke and be kind to you take you in when you had no one. If you had no friends at all, he would be there. We finished making all 1,000 cranes in May. Everybody had got together. And some of us were like having trouble, but we taught each other and we actually brung ourselves together. And I'm so happy because everybody was together in this. We hung them on a tree that was planted outside of our school in his memory and hoped to give them to his family. He's the person I miss the most. 
And like I think everybody else misses him like a lot. I always keep a picture of him with me. I think that the fact that a bur oak is a tree that lasts between 200 and 400 years is a perfect representation of the way we feel about our lost friend, Luis. We will not soon forget him. And this will always be here at Ojeda Middle School to tell everyone that comes here that Luis was a part of the Ojeda family and we will never forget him. He wasn't just a nice person, like, he was more than that. Like, he was an angel. Like, to me, he was like, the best person in the world. I hope his family can keep on going and like for me, he's always gonna have a little space in my heart and he's always gonna be with me. He was my best friend. I will never forget him. I will always miss you, Luis, and I love you, bro. We miss you, Luis. Rest in peace.